Hey everyone, Silver Contrail here. Today, uh, I'm on a multiplayer server. I've been playing on the server for the last few days. Uh, a few of our friends put it up. Uh, they're people that we, or that I, have played uh, Race for Wool in the past. We're part of a Mine Inc. team, so we've got uh, April, we've got Fellrocker, we've got Relo the Potato. He didn't play RMCT with us, but uh, he's well known. Immortalized, in fact, in um, Material Energy Hypercubed. Uh, as a potato. So, <laughs> we've been playing here... I don't think it's been a week yet. I don't think so. It, it may have been, though. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, but we've been playing here for a while. Um, just a little private server. And <laughs> we went ham for some reason. I don't know why uh, I decided to just go all out on the server. Usually I don't. I just I just stick to pretty casual stuff. But uh, uh, I built this um, thing. Uh, we'll look at it real quick here. Uh, as long as I don't kill myself trying to uh, look around it. Uh, this is a mob system, which many of you are probably familiar with, uh, at least in terms of the basics, the design, what it does. Oh man, look at the look at the lag on that. That's crazy. Oh, that's really strange. I don't know if that's server lag. Oh, that might actually be server lag. That might be my side. Um, I'm currently uploading a video while I'm playing on this, so that would probably explain it. Uh, this is a design made by Il Mango. I'll put or Il Mango. I don't know why I said want to say Il Mago. Uh, I think because I was farming a Mago Loops in Destiny the other day. Uh, so this is made by uh, Il Mango. I'll put the link in the description to his design. This is not 100% uh, pure replication, but it's pretty close. Um, in this case, I made it only half as big as what he made because uh, I didn't want to use up any more resources. Uh, to be honest, it probably would have been better if I would have made the full-sized thing. Uh, so basically, it's uh, it's a pretty simple design. Uh, we've got eight spawning floors here. Uh, we've got dispensers hooked up to them. They push out water at intervals. Uh, that pushes the mobs off the top, and they fall to the ground, and they either die when they hit the ground, or they die to the, the magma blocks at the bottom. Uh, and then the water down at the bottom pushes all the items into a collection point, and then we pick them up at the bottom. Okay, and then so at the top, um, this is also fairly straightforward. Uh, we just have a big, huge hopper clock. Now, I know a little bit about redstone. I am okay at it, sometimes. I have very little knowledge of what exactly I created here. I'm not sure what is really going on. Like, I could probably tell you, like, a little bit, like, a little piece of, like, okay, this is where the signal goes, and this is but why I have all this going every which way, I have no idea. So, who knows? Um, but this is, I do have an on and off switch here, uh, which I'm actually going to flip um, and disable the system. Why? Uh, in this case, because it creates a lot of lag, and I want to show off the rest of the world without um, making lag all day long. Uh, so we'll shut this off for a little bit. Um, and we'll come back to it at some point. Or I'll come back to it at some point. Probably not on camera. Um, so yeah, it, it, it works pretty well. So this turns off the spawning. Um, so this spider down here, he's going to get wrecked in a few seconds. As he takes continuous damage from the blocks. Um, and uh, we go check up here. Ouch, what did I take damage from? Maybe just lag. Um, and we can see a little bit in here, not much. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be uploading a video while I'm doing this, but... Uh, so yeah, these are all the dispensers here. They all just all have a uh, bucket of water in them. Um, and uh, yeah, it all flows to the collection point. The collection point, uh, I need to fix it at some point. I don't have it um, set up quite yet. Oh, I could just put a ladder down. Wow, I'm an idiot. Okay, anyways... Um, Oops, this way. Uh, the collection point's right here. Um, it was originally going to be collected over here, but I didn't have any ice blocks, so I couldn't send the items fast enough to get them to where I needed to go. But I could change this anyways. Um, but this works just as well. Um, so we can look at our loot so far. There's a lot of it. Uh, so this is a lot of items in here. Uh, we've got rotten flesh. We've got more rotten flesh. Uh, and lots of arrows, lots of string, which is... Something we were looking for was string. We needed a lot, a lot of string, and now we have it. 
Um, the rotten flesh is, of course, great. We're going to grab a whole bunch of it because we're going to go take that to our villagers. And go talk with them. And, of course, we can sleep up here, too, to pass the night. Uh, not The entire world below us is not lit up. But enough of it's lit up so that... And we're high enough up so that uh, we get some pretty good rates here, even at night. Um, if there's, like, other people who are on uh, and they're not sleeping. Um... So we can get a quick view of the base from here, actually, so we can see, once we get past the clouds, um, we basically came to this village, uh, we crossed the desert, spawn is basically, it's over this mountain, and then it's through this, uh, like, forest biome, um, and almost into a swamp biome, uh, and that's where spawn is, there's a stronghold that way, there's someone else living that way, there's people living by spawn, um, so we can stop right here, maybe, oh, yeah, there's a step up. Uh, so we have the whole base here. So it's just really a village. Um, I liked it when I saw it. There was a lot of food here, so I decided to stay. I don't know what's up with this Enderman. Look at this guy. Does he want to eat me? Is he, is he aggro on me? I don't know. Okay. Uh, so, um, yeah. Uh, there's not really anything to show off here. We've got another portal over there. I'll go point to, um... As far as, like, a, this really isn't much of a world tour. There's not really a lot built here, except for that monstrosity above us. Um, and we go down here. There's actually another floor here. Um, you can hear the cows. Uh, this is a spawner for uh, skeletons, which we will probably no longer use, and I should dismantle uh, in its current state, uh, because there's no reason to have it here. Um, there's just a spawner inside. Someone put a torch on it. Who did that? Huh. Weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't know who did that, but they ruined my system. Okay, anyways, moving on. Uh, again, we don't really need it, though. So, we have a bridge uh, that Retlo put in. This tower, actually, is all Retlo's doing. And then up there, we have the beast. Uh, this um, mob system, which you can only really see the roof of. By the way, that pillar coming down, that's to send the signal from the hopper clock down to the uh, ring of um, dispensers there. Uh, that pillar itself is made out of um, observers. So, you just have observers pointing down. Um, so it basically, the redstone will update a hopper, and then it'll sig send the signal all the way down to here, and then it's just carried across. So, pretty simple. Um, we've got our cow farm, we've got uh, a lot of villagers uh, doing villager things, so I don't really know what they're doing. Um, and then this is kind of our home base. We've got a decent amount of stuff. A good amount of diamonds, a good amount of... Um, various other materials. We're a little low right now because we used up a lot of stuff. Like, we're low on iron uh, because we we used so much. We, like, we just we just made, like, 80 buckets, so... Um, yeah, we're, we're low on things. Um, if we can find a cleric, we can trade all of this rotten flesh for... Ever. There was someone with a slight... Yeah, I think this is the guy with the better trade. Oh, you don't want to do that trade, huh? No more? You done? All right. All right. Where's the other? Where's my other boy? Betray me? Maybe not. <laughs> oh, this lag is really bad. Sweet. And you still probably don't want to do the trick. Oh wait, did I screw that up? Because I didn't have enough in here. Yeah, when they get trade locked out, they actually have a little X. On the trade. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, you know, at some point they were going to give me that. So he will trade emeralds for various things we don't need. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I haven't built, um, I haven't built a mug grinder in a long time. So I actually started with, uh, mob systems like this way back in my first world and then moved on to uh, just better and better versions as time went on 
this one is definitely the most efficient that I've ever made, and I'm really happy with it, honestly. It, it took a lot less work than others I've made. It's a lot less cobblestone efficient. efficient. Uh, in the past, I used to make like self-contained systems, like I'd make walls. For this one, I didn't really have to. Um, it's certainly the only impressive thing we've built on the server just yet. Eventually, I'd like to get an Enderman farm set up. I think that's the next target for me after we beat the Ender Dragon. So, yeah, definitely something we're going to do in the future. Uh, another thing we did is we put another portal here, and it connected to another guy who was, like, a thousand blocks that way. I'm not really quite sure. I, I mean, I guess they're close enough in the nether. Um, but, to be honest, it probably shouldn't have connected. Whatever. Anyways. So, I built a minecart system to get us back from the return portal. So when we go through a different portal, it brings us out here. That way we're not trekking um, all the way from that base. Uh, I also added a return system, which is really just a long redstone line. Uh, but the reason I'm coming out here is just to get another view of this mob system, which I think is really cool. Oh, you can't really see it, can you? Well, let's let's go back to it, and we can see it as we come in. Oh, no, the clouds are in the way. Oh, the clouds. Is there a cloud off option? Oh, there it is. There it is. In all its glory. So, quite a few magma blocks, quite a bit of cobblestone. Uh, very resource intensive, but I'd recommend it. It's really, really good. Uh, so, in the future, if you get a chance, definitely check out that link and check out that, um, that mob grinder. But also, another thing I'd recommend check out a couple of them. See what you might. Uh, prefer because there's there's so many different designs that are out there, um, and this is just one of them. So that's really all I want to talk about today. I wanted to show off this cool mob system because I think it's really cool, and I think that uh, El Mango did a really good job with it. The only downside to it is it uses a lot of water on and off, um, especially for the bottom too, which I think could be avoided if you change the system. Instead of having them get pushed off of the platforms, you instead had them get pushed. Um, uh, to a center point, and then you wouldn't have to have a big collection area at the bottom. But that's just my thinking. Um, I got some good stuff already, actually. Uh, this is a great sword. Uh, this is, uh, I do have an infinity bow. Uh, I got one of these god level picks. Um, and yeah, we have a beacon. Uh, there's nothing really to talk about. This is the worst world tour ever. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and until next time then.